Hey, it's Adon here, AdonCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in dadgad guitar. This lesson, we're going to learn how to accompany the tune called The Maid Behind the Bar, and it's a reel, and we're going to go through it part by part, and I'm going to show you the chords and the strumming pattern. First, I'm going to play it once through with my dad, Mick Coyne, on the whistle. Let's give that a go. One, two, three, four. Great, so let's get the right hand rhythm going first. So this is a reel, so it's four, four times. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, up, 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 one, two, three, four. And if the tempo of this tune is too fast for you, I do have a different version which goes through the notations and the tabs, and it has three different speeds going slow, medium, and fast. So you can check that out in the description below. You can check that and build up to this speed that we're playing at. So let's get on to the chords. Now, let's start with this A1 section. So the first chord we're gonna play is this D chord or D modal, whichever you wanna call it. We have that little finger up on the fifth fret. So we have two bars of the D. So that's one, two, three, four, two. And then we're going on to this B minor chord. You can play it with two fingers or you can add in your little finger if you want. So that's our third bar. And then for the fourth bar, we're going to this E minor. You can play that with three fingers or two fingers, depending on how open you want it to be. And then we have the A shape, and that's two finger A. So for those four bars, let's play those four bars. So it's one, two, four, D, B minor, E minor, A. So we'll go to that again. So that E minor A is changing a bit faster. E minor A, E minor A. Cool, the next, the second half of that A1 section. So we have the D again for two bars. One, two, three, four, two. Then we have the B minor, which we've covered already. Then we have this G shape. You can play that with three fingers or four fingers, depending on how tight or open you want that chord to be. And then sliding up to the A. So that's the same shape, whichever way you want to play it. And then back to the D. So the last four bars of that A1 section is D, D, D minor, G, A, D. So we'll go for that B minor, G, A, D, that quick change. So it's B minor, G, a and D. One more time. B minor, G, sliding it up to A and D. So let's play that A1 section straight through. One, two, three, four. So once again, if these changes are too fast for you, I have the slower version in the description below. And like all Irish tunes, things can be taken out and you can just play a drone for the whole thing if you like, or you can add more in if you want with the jazzy chords and the sevenths. So I'm just showing you my version here. So I hope it comes in handy for you. Let's move on to the A2 section. So the A2 section is very similar to the A1 section. I just changed the B minor shape that we had down here, further up the neck. I just played further up the neck to get different tones, have that B in the bass. So that's that shape there. And also from the A shape down here, I play the A up here for the same reason, just to change up the tones a bit. So let's play the first four bars in section A2. So that's one, two, three, four, two. B minor, B minor, A. So let's go through that B minor again. B minor up here. 
and we have a quick change from the B minor to the A. We're sliding it down. And then the last four bars in section A2 are exactly, exactly the same as A1. The last four bars in A1, so that's two. One more time with that. So that's change again. B minor, G, A, and D. So let's play section A1 and A2. One, two, three, four. Mighty stuff, so now we're on to the B1 section. So we'll do the first four bars of that. So we have the D for two bars. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And then we're on to the E minor for a bar and a half. One, two, three, four, one, two, over to the A. So you can play that E minor with three fingers or two fingers, whichever you want. And then that quick change from the E minor to the A. So those four bars all together. Great, now let's do the second half of the B1 section. So the second half of the B1 section is a little tricky. I'll play through it once and then we'll go through it nice and slow. So it sounds like this. So it's this walk down going from this D shape down to this, it's a, a D with a C sharp in the bass, so could just call it a C sharp if you want then from here we're going down to this B minor or I'm just playing the B note really I'm not playing that full B minor chord so it's just going D C sharp B and we're into this F sharp minor two finger F sharp minor chord and then up to this G chord that we've covered before so that's for one bar and then we have the A and D that A shape, the high A shape, down to the D. So going through it, it was D, C sharp, B minor, F sharp minor, G, A and D. One more time. D, C sharp, B minor, F sharp minor, G, A and D. So let's play it through that B1 section. So it goes... Now let's play the A1, A2, and B1 sections straight through. One, two, three, four. So if you're having trouble with that moving bass line, I'd say just take that section and just work through it slow, G, A and D, and just kind of build up your muscle memory going through that. So let's move on to the B2 section now. So in this B2 section, I'm basically playing the same chords except up an octave. So we had this D major here, I'm going to play it up here. So that's with the third finger on the 12th fret playing that D note. And then we had the E minor shape, so I'm going to play that an octave up just to get some tonal variations going. So if you don't have a cutaway guitar, this might be a tricky one to get. Just play that lower one if you can't reach it. So let's play the first four bars in this B2 section. So it's one, two, three, four, two, D minor, D minor. And then we have a walk down, very similar to the walk down we did down here, which was D, C sharp, B, 
I'm going to play it down here now. So D, C sharp, B. Except we're going to put some chords to it. So that's D major. And we have this D with a C sharp in the bass. And then we have the B minor chord that we've covered. So let's play that section, that B2 section through. So the eight bars in the B2 section sound like this. One, two, three, four, D. D minor. D minor, walk down. G, A, and D. So go through that one more time. We have the D, D, high E minor. High E minor, walk down. So that A and D is a great finish. Great, that's the whole tune. So let's play the whole tune straight through now. One, two, three, four. Great, so that's the whole tune. I'm going to have the whistle track play twice round just at the end of this video for yourself to practice. Um, as I said, you can take cards out or add cards in depending on what type of backer you are. Have a nice drone or jazz it up. So this is my style. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more. And if you have any tune suggestions, leave them in the comment section. I'm happy to help out. Talk to you on the next one. All the best. The main behind the bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.